is the divulge show here at nisi television where we transform lives through media and today i am uh together with a very awesome person if you're joining now we have we, we we're just concluding on the last part of uh uh mr sammy's testimony of how you know he had this specific uh health problem and we are yet to know how it ended the the paper the exam paper now yes yes so on this particular day on mm -hmm. a tuesday mm -hmm. i am given the maths paper yes. at 8 a.m i write my name mm -hmm. turn over the page to question one mm -hmm. i do question one question two and when i'm doing question three mm -hmm. i fainted mm -hmm. so um i was picked from the class and um a, a doctor was called mm -hmm. to the school mm -hmm. so i woke up later actually an hour later after they had started the chemistry paper one mm -hmm. exam mm -hmm. which means that uh, maths paper one i only did three questions wow. and in chemistry paper one um i was late by one hour yeah. and uh, the trend continued all the way for the three weeks as I was doing the exams mm -hmm. but by the grace of God um, I, as I was saying my principal was really encouraging me my parents they were encouraging me so much and some of my friends and um, when the results came out yeah. I had a C minus mm -hmm. of which I really thank God because so much I realized, yeah. yeah because actually I never expected yeah. such yeah. I mean I, I expected I would get a poor grade yeah. than that, but by the grace of God, I I was able to to attain a C minus. Yes. Um, now we cross to 2020. Mm -hmm. um, I went for a discipleship training, mm -hmm. and there I started experiencing God. Wow. I started now experiencing God in my life. Amen. And understanding. That yes, we can demonstrate the God we preach. Mm. We don't only speak theory. Yeah. And actually in 2020 is the year that I got my healing. Amen. Amen. And I can tell you mm -hmm. from 2020 to this day in wow. 2022, wow. I have never fainted. I have never had an episode of low blood sugar. Uh -huh. I have never had an episode of where I'm feeling weak. Mm. to a point that I couldn't walk for two kilometers mm. without feeling weak <laughs> right now <laughs> give me a 21 kilometer race mm. I will go mm. I will run Wow I couldn't eat some foods yeah. I was restricted I was joking with my friend some other time and I was telling him it's only stones that I can't eat now <laughs> I can eat anything me and do the same what's up yes <laughs> the same wow. by the grace of god amen. amen so i am here to testify mm. of a god that heals wow. and as i said that yes because i went through that problem yes and i know there are many people mm -hmm. in school outside there not necessarily even in school yeah they are going through problems and they're even hating themselves. Mm. They don't know what am I supposed to do in this particular situation. Mm -hmm. Whom do I talk to? Mm -hmm. I talk to a friend, they go gossip. What do I do yeah. at such a place? And I have a passion of reaching out to that person. Wow. Reaching out to that particular person mm. who feels at the end point. Reaching out to that particular person who feels they have given up. Mm -hmm. They feel they can't continue. They feel they are not part of the society, part of the community, mm -hmm. because of a certain problem, yeah. of a certain challenge yeah. they have. Mm -hmm. That is the person I want to reach out to. And for your information, um, as Healthy Life Counseling and Consultancy, uh -huh. we are reaching out to schools. That is high school, primary, yeah. campus. Yes. Yes. I want to work with the students. 
I have ministered to high school mm. and I have realized students have issues. Yeah, yeah. And true. I want to work with them. Mm. I really have I really have that passion. I want to work with them. Mm. To that student who comes from a home that they are neglected. Yeah. They come from a home with domestic violence. They have uh, they have a medical condition. Mm. They have a challenge in their body and they hate themselves. Mm. That is the person mm. that I want to reach out to. And I want to let them know if I overcame, they can still overcome Amen. by the grace of God. Amen. Yes. You've reminded me when I was in high school, um, I have this deep voice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they used to call me head boy. Mm -hmm. and I used to be in this uh, girl's school. Yeah. So of course, it was very, I, 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 is it, it was a paradox. Mm -hmm. And I, I really struggled and I would ask questions. Hey God, why, you know, oh, there's so many girls who speak. Um, I mean, the way girls speak, so you yeah. expect that's a panel yeah. Yeah. and that kind of feminine mm -hmm. voice. Yeah. And I wonder why, why me? Why will you give me some, <laughs> mm. some very deep voice, deep voice for yeah. what? Mm. You know? Mm. And then years later, it used to torment me because every person, if I meet someone new, mm. they will be like, your voice yeah cash your voice mm -hmm. and then differently they will be like i like your voice and then someone will bully me because of my voice oh, oh, my voice yeah so that i used to experience that mm -hmm. uh when growing up in fact one time in the house i tried um an artist song because of growing up in a christian mm -hmm. house so then we had a relative in the house and they told me cash watch an ania back you want me where 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 do I live? Where was Yimba? Like yeah, openly, yeah, uh, yeah. ladies, they don't, mm. they, they don't say this. Mm. Until I met um, two people, I met Saint P. Mm -hmm. I met um, uh, this uh, this Kata Kawaya mm -hmm. uh, movie. Yeah, I met a movie, mm. and then I met my music director. Mm. And all of them, of course, I went on meeting people. They every time I meet these people, in fact, the movie uh, in the streets of Nairobi we at some point we got to interact with each other and he asked me what are you doing with your voice what i'm like eh. so it hit me in fact don't like this thing um having a lot of questions yeah but what is wrong mm. what are you doing mm. with your voice yeah yeah and then he, I, I i intentionally took his number and then asked me what do you mean mm. say it you have a different voice there's yeah. something about your voice yeah and god God, there is no way God could have given him this voice without a purpose. Mm. The same case with Saint P. Yeah. Saint P took, I think, fifteen. We were in a certain shoot, mm. and Saint P told me the same thing. Yeah. My music director. Mm. I joined the Nairobi Gospel Choir. Mm. Uh, very timid, very shy. Of course, you know, in a in, in a choir setup, we have the sopranos yeah. and yeah. hitting those mm. notes, all right. Mm. And um, uh, the the first test, my music director took me, put me. With the tenors, mm -hmm. who are the tenors? Mm -hmm. the, men. the men. So of course, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. continued torturing me, mm -hmm. and it was like, what is, what is, what is this guy doing? But the one they told me, Kesh, if God, if there is anything that God has given, you, and you, and you need to be thank, thankful of, is your voice. Yeah. So it turned, um, you know, it, it shaped, it reshaped the way I look at myself mm -hmm. and the way I speak. So these days, if you make a good comment, cool. If you want to this cool, mm. it a family because uh, God is not an alpha of confusion. That's and if God permits anyone to go through a certain season mm. or to you know to have a certain certain thing that looks odd, you know, I can I, I, I can picture you are sick at some point. You are the preacher calling people to are uh, you asking people you know your congregation who is here and is not feeling well? Yeah. Do you believe the Lord Jesus can heal mm. you? Mm. And then deep down, you know very well that you, you, you well. need that very much healing. Yeah. God is not the author of confusion. That's because true. if God never permitted you to go through that state, you could not be here visiting mm -hmm. the entire show, telling about telling us about the works of God and mm -hmm. you know what God can do. And for me also, it's a testament that I I now see God in every detail. Mm -hmm. 
maybe God didn't, didn't give me the uh, the A's and you know you know what what old timers are tools of success out there. But it was a very simple thing here. My yeah. voice. Mm, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, I'm really, really grateful. Yeah. As we come to the end of the show. Yes. I would love to ask. We are talking about matters mental health. And we know that the scripture says that we have the mind of Christ. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Let me pause there. We have the mind of Christ. Mm. What is your take? Someone will, someone will ask. Hey, sir. I am going through anxiety, I'm going through depression, I'm going through, you know, all internal wars, low self-esteem, discouragements. I have personal fears mm. and worries that I, I'm not sure who I want to speak to or I even don't, I'm not sure that you say you're afraid of speaking and then yeah. uh, the next minute you hear it's the, it's mm. Mm. you know. These are my internal battles. Yeah. These are my fight. Mm. I'm the only one who knows what I'm, what I'm going through. Yeah. But I will still say that I have the mind of Christ. Mm. What do we mean uh, by that statement? The mind of Christ. And can the mind of Christ have all these complications that you're talking about? Amazing. Yes. Um, there's a statement that you said mm -hmm. that when God allows mm -hmm. Yes, we the, even the scripture says that we are created in the image and likeness of God. Yes. The spirit of God dwells in us that we carry the presence of God. Mm. And so when looking at all this, we can say that if God allows it to happen, mm -hmm. it's for his glory. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we don't need to lose focus. Mm. And, and focus on this problem that we have. We don't need to, to concentrate so much on, on my anxiety issue, on my depression, on my stress, on my problem. We need to focus so much on what Christ is saying about these things. So when we say that, yes, I have the mind of Christ, I am created in the image and in the likeness of God. That doesn't mean that we won't face some of these issues. We will. Because when God allows, it's for his glory. So we need to, to have the understanding that yes, some of these things we will face. There is what the Bible terms as the evil day. Although, um, yeah, it happens. It comes. Although there are some because of how um, they relate with God and their relationship with God, they're able to, to escape what we call the evil day. Yes. But the, the Bible acknowledges that there is something as the evil day. The evil day may done to me or to you as that problem. And that does not mean that we lose the place and the position that we have in Christ Jesus. It only means that even in that problem, we maintain what we profess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I was listening to a certain preacher, yes. and he said that there are people who are strong outward, mm -hmm. but inward, they don't even believe what they profess. Mm -hmm. A very good example: a person in the in the in the in the sick in the in the bed in the hospital bed, mm -hmm. they are admitted because they are sick and according to the doctor um, there is no there is no hope of yeah. recovery yeah. and when when people come to visit them this person will say because of Christ I will recover yeah. because of Christ I know I will rise up yeah. but when this person or rather when people get out of this place mm -hmm. This person inward is like, hey, my goodness, will I still, do I still, is God still healing me? Mm -hmm. There is the doubting part. And this person doesn't get healed. Yeah. Why? Because it's not so much on what we profess outside, rather than what we believe inside. Mm -hmm. And this is not to say that our faith should not produce work. 
or rather good one. It is like saying, or rather what I'm trying to say is that, yes, we have the mind of Christ, but what the mind of Christ helps us to do yes. is to maintain, mm -hmm. is to maintain the, the attitude of God in that situation, yeah. even when we undergo through the situation. Yeah. That means that I will be going through a situation, a hard time, but I do not lose focus mm -hmm. on God. Yeah. I do not lose focus on God. I have the mind of Christ that lets me know that yes, even through this situation, I know that God is in it. I spoke somewhere and I said that at times we may question the mind of God as to why certain things happen the way they do. At times we things happen the way we don't want them to happen. And we may question the mind of God because we have seeked God so much in that situation. But you know what? He gives us an assurance. And he says, I have a good plan for you. And what is the plan? The Bible says, for a good future and a hope. Yeah. For a good future and a hope. So what matters is, how do we maintain our walk with the Lord during this time? How are we walking with the Lord? during this time do we still maintain the fact and the attitude of god mm -hmm. yeah. do we maintain what god says in that particular situation mm -hmm. do we go to seek god mm -hmm. and understand and listen to his voice oh. what he says mm -hmm. in that circumstance mm -hmm. because many other times we get challenges we are talking about mental health. Mm -hmm. Somebody will get um, stress, mm -hmm. but will they seek the voice of God in that stressing moment? Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Amazing. I want you to look at that camera yes. and tell that uh, person that has been listening to this show or will I will get the, the link and release onto this clip. Mm. That one thing that if you are given the opportunity to talk about mental issues and in the place of solution, you will say. Number one, I will say love yourself. Love yourself. Because that is the first place mm. of accepting who you are. Mm. If people discriminate you, and you hate yourself, that will be the worst thing you'll do. Yeah. So love yourself even in that circumstance. Number two, let your faith not be shaken. Remain in God. Amazing. Amazing. Remain in God. Yeah. Yes, you're not able to provide for your children. Yeah. You don't have a way out. You don't know what to do next. You have a disease. The doctor has given a report. Mm. But believe in God. Believe in the report of God. Believe what God says in that circumstance. Yeah. And number three, seek help. Mm. Talk to a professional. Wow. That is why we are there. That is why Healthy Life Counseling and Consultancy is there. Mm. So that we can walk and journey together the recovery process mm. yes amazing amazing ladies and gentlemen this is the divulge show here at nisi television and today trust me i, I feel like i'm in a classroom amazing. <laughs> i'm when taking I notes yes when i see notebook mm. 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 Like i'm taking notes yeah, yeah. and we're having amazing feedbacks uh, on our social media platforms um, we are, we, uh, there is a, a person called Mwangi Stephen Nzomo. Mm -hmm. He's saying the divulge Susan and Kabugi. Kabu, Kabu, yeah. You guys are amazing. Wow. Big up, Steve. <laughs> uh, we're having, um, uh, let, me, let me get that. We have Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul Gregory and Asema. That's very strong of you. May the Lord 
who cleared your way shine on many of us who go through things and many other hard times Amen. experience. Aha, uh -huh. Mwangi still says the healing of the soul and the, and the empowerment of the spirit. Epic. Big up, Steve. We have Ruth uh, Gerald is saying, such a young man with a lot of with a lot to offer more grace to you, Sammy. Amen. Thanks, Susan. You are great. Uh, big up. <laughs> Chege Joseph is saying uh, that he's watching. Amazing. Thank you, each and every one of us uh, who has been, you know, taking his minute to watch. Mm. We are really, really grateful for uh, this great opportunity, uh, even to have you on board, you know, listening to to this awesome uh, conversation. And I believe that Manze, your two hours, it's not in vain, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There is something as per the feedback. And even uh, you at home, we know and we know very well that, you know, uh, our lives will never be the same again. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you can look also at that camera and tell us your social media handles. Uh, you are, you've mentioned something about your company. Where can we get you? Where can we access you? You know, mm. uh, how can we slide in the DM? Yeah. And if you're comfortable with giving us your personal number, we'll be cool about it. That's okay. Yes. So we are talking about healthy life counseling and consultancy. And our mission is to inspire humanity mm -hmm. by providing the best mental health care while pointing all to Christ as the much less solution. So we come to a place of understanding that it is not our professionalism that is giving the healing or the wellness, rather it is Christ who is working in and through us. We have um, the services that we are offering. We have student mentorship and counseling, as I mentioned earlier. We have loss and grief counseling, trauma and crisis counseling. Yeah. We have medical conditions counseling, teen and adolescent counseling, addiction counseling, anger, stress and stress management, child therapy and depression. Now you can you can get us um, on our phone numbers 0110 27 3801 or 0701 245 885. Our WhatsApp number is uh, 0110 273801. On our social media platforms, Facebook, Healthy Life Counseling and Consultancy, LinkedIn, Healthy Life Counseling and Consultancy, on YouTube, Healthy Life Counseling and Consultancy, on Instagram, Healthy Life underscore Consultancy. Yeah, you asked for my personal number. My personal number, if you would want to reach out to me, is 0793-672-494. I repeat again, 0793-494. Sorry, sorry, I missed that a little bit. Okay. Sorry, 793 6 Seven two four nine four, and for clarity, zero seven nine three six seven two four nine four. My Facebook page is Bro Sami Kafugi, and uh, YouTube Bro Sami Kafugi, Instagram Bro Sami Kafugi. You can reach out to me. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. As we wind up, uh, we've been speaking about mental health. There's someone that, you know, has been listening and they, they, they are crying for the help of God. And it's important even to invoke God in his matters. Yes. Say, hey, uh, bro, Sam, pray for me. Um, you know, pray for me out of this issue. And, uh, you know, I believe it's a good platform. So you can pray for our viewers and someone out there that, has, that is struggling in a specific uh, mental health condition. Please Amazing. Pray. Thank you for that opportunity. And let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this amazing time mm. and for this amazing conversation that we've had, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. We understand and we know that in our society today, many people are struggling with mental health disorders and with various health problems.
problems. Yes. And so, Lord, we commit them unto thy able hands. Mm. You that know, knoweth them, O God. Mm. Your word says that you perceive our thoughts from afar, that you know when we rise and when we sit, O God. Yes. You know every beat of them, O Father. I pray for that person who is struggling, O God, and I pray that you may intervene in their situation, in their circumstance today, in the name of Jesus. Yes. We speak the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding. Mm. We speak, Lord, your comfort, O Jehovah, that even as they seek help, O my God, yes. they will have come to the place of understanding that it is you and you alone, Jehovah, that if they will not focus, O God, on the worldly things, O God, yes. they will not focus on the doctor's report, on the doctor's medications, oh God. Yes, yes, they will take the medication, but they will focus on you, mm. the healer, oh God, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, oh Lord. We worship you, oh God, yes. because you're intervening in their situation. Mm. You're working in their lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we honor you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been uh the deval show here at nisi television with your host cash susan see you on board talk to us uh continue talking to us on all our social media handles that is at nisi television facebook at nisi television instagram and also on our mainstream uh, media see you next week you know uh bigger and better preserved of the lord and we pray that the impact that you've received in this place will work with you all the days of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shalom.